pretty hazardous job pruning an overgrown climbing rose like this but it's a pretty good uh, demonstration piece to show you what you need to do I'm looking as always for old wood and there is some very old black wood here which would be better pruned out now I have started to shorten the time a bit to cut this so this one we're using the little pruning saw I just undercut that so that it doesn't run back that comes out really clean just, it's a pity to lose that piece and I'll say this one here has done its time and is better out and this, this wood here too that's old at the end that would be better pruned right out like that, that's taken that, that one out and then there's one here there's some quite nice green wood so I think that I'll leave that take that piece off there and this one back to there there's a really good shoot there that will come and then this one I'm going to take really hard back just above that eye and this one back and that one back that's dead there and so I need to cut that dead wood off and I'll come back right to here to make sure I've got all of the dead wood and this branch here needs to come out Pull that out. Now that's really started to open it up. But I've got a really nice young shoot here, this one. It's, well, there's two actually. Nice and supple and green. And they can come over. gently because it will very easily split and for the time being I can get my sucker balls if I cut that tip off I can just tuck that very gently in and then I can tie that alongside that beam and with a really good long young shoot that will sprout the full length of it to give us a whole shower of flowers in the summer so I've got these two really lovely young branches tied down. Once they've settled there a bit, I'll tie them in a little tighter. And there's this older one here, and an even older one. And, and this has a nice lot of natural side shoots. We'll just cut that now to about two to four inches. And with luck, every one of those will produce a flowering stem in June of this year and then I've got here a velcro tie which I find very useful because when you need to untie that it's just a matter of unstripping 
and then you can re-tighten it again. Very useful uh, bit of tying for climbing roses. And I need to tie a few more around here. You'll have to leave me to do that. Well, that's quite a difference. A few minutes, chop a few big branches out, and then trim those laterals, and there we are, all set for summer. And Graham Thomas will be flowering its heart out right through from June, hopefully, to November. <laughs>